great in exports, but if not, the result would have been equally disastrous. Now, the good thing that is happening this year in this year in um, in, uh, in Argentina is that it's the first time that this what I think we would call it according to the terminology of Dornbusch and Edwards, this populist cycle. It's the first time that the government, which implements the populist policies, I think short-run policies, perhaps a better name, has to pay the consequences. Because typically what happens with populist governments is that they run the, up, the, the upswing, and whenever you have to pay the price of your policies, a new government comes in and pays all the cost. Well, this is the first time that the current government, which is the one which did the, did the populist policies, is paying the cost of the of basically of, of adjusting and correcting the, its own policies. I think that's going to be, that's, I think that is something which is, makes us be very optimistic in terms that the society will be able to, to read in a much more intelligent and a much more objective way the results of these policies. And, and, and probably it will, will impact on the vote uh, next year. And, and people vote finally for something which is, which is different.